My friends, welcome to Enlightened World Network. Dr. Ruth Anderson here with a meditation a day. Today, our very special guest meditator is Sue Broom. She's been here with us on Enlightened World for four years now and so pleased to have her with us. Sue's meditations are always very special because they are right at the moment. She doesn't plan ahead. She really just goes into meditation and opens up to spirit and shares wherever they are taking her and therefore taking us. So, so excited to have Sue with us today. I know Sue's sharing out. Um, while she's doing that, I will just share with you that on Enlightened World Network, Sue Broom and I do a show together called Messages from Your Loved Ones. We do that once a month, second Monday of every month. And with your feedback in Facebook Messenger, not, no, no, in the comments, Facebook comments, we tune into one of your loved ones who you have loved and lost and read their energy and see the connection that you still have with them. So if you're interested in that at all, please join us every second Monday of the month, messages from your loved ones. Sue, are you ready for the meditation? I am ready. Okay, excellent. I'll get yes. out of the way. Yeah. And I am going to just let people know in case you can probably hear it from my end and probably from Ruth's end too, the chimes that start going every once in a while. There's they're solar chimes, but they're spirit chimes. So they chime in when they... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so if everyone could just... Take a, a couple of deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And get more comfortable into the chair that you're sitting in or if you're lying down. Just allow your body to sink deeper in. And some of you might be holding a crystal if you would like. And if you don't have a crystal to hold, just that you can imagine the perfect crystal. But continue to take a couple of deep breaths. In and out. And you'll notice stresses falling away. If you haven't already and would like to, you can close your eyes. Don't force your breath. Just allow it to be. Notice when you're taking an in-breath. And notice when you're exhaling. And I'd like you to focus on your heart space, your heart center. If you want to put a hand there, you can. You don't have to. And with each breath, you can feel your chest go up and down. I notice your belly going up and down as well. Just notice. Don't try to change it. If you're noticing sounds from around you, just allow them to come into your space peacefully. And 
from your heart space, I'd like you to connect with Mother Earth. You can imagine tree roots growing down. Or if you are imagining something else that works for you, that is perfect. And imagine your connection with the divine, with your angels. Your connection to unconditional love. And as you notice these connections, you might notice your heart space energy within your heart expanding. Maybe it's changing colors. Maybe it's got a sound. Or maybe it's just a feeling. And with each breath in, you feel yourself taking in more love and more light. And with each exhale, you feel old things leave. Maybe old beliefs, maybe old trauma. Maybe old anger, old frustrations. And with the next in-breath, the space that was empty from the release is now filling with unconditional love. Filling that space and expanding. And again, some of you may notice your heart space changing colors. Maybe you notice chills or warmth. I'd like you to just repeat to yourself or out loud if you'd like the words, I am loved. And notice what it does to your body. Are there old things still being released? As you say again, I am loved. And change the word to I am loving and see what you notice. If tears are coming to some of you, just allow them to flow. Just repeat, I am loving, I am loved, and then add in, I am love. And if there's an old trauma that might be stuck, you might notice that it's being worked on. releasing 
like soaking a pan on the stove before you clean it. Now add in, I am enough. And you can continue to repeat the I am love if you would like. Just notice the expansion with each in-breath. And the release of all the times that maybe you did not feel like you were enough. Or maybe someone told you you weren't enough. Allow those to be washed away. Mother Earth will transmute. Divine will transmute that energy to love, to unconditional love. So repeat, I am enough. I am love. Let's add one more. I am worthy. I am worthy. And notice that that brings up feelings throughout your body. Maybe something that you forgot was stuck away. Or someone said you were worthless or you felt worthless for some reason. I am worthy. I am enough. I am love. I am loving. Just allow all of these to sink in and watch your heart expand. might be changing all kinds of different colors. And maybe it's just beautiful golden light. You might notice energy running down your legs, going deep down into Mother Earth. You might notice energy coming from all around you. But all that no longer serves you, allow it to be released. It's not yours to carry anymore. And allow the space to be filled with love, with worthiness, with I am enough, with unconditional love. We are all beings of love and light. We are all here for our own individual purpose. There may be similarities to others, but each is unique. Each is important. I am worthy. I am enough. I am love. Allow those words 
those intentions, those feelings to soak into your body and expand who you are. Just take a moment to breathe all of this in and just feel your expansion in this moment. So thank Mother Earth. Thank all parts of your body. Thank your angels. Thank the divine. Thank your soul, your higher self. For this beautiful space today. And slowly start coming back to your body. With each breath, you're coming slowly back into your body. You might notice the sounds around you. might notice the chair that you're sitting in. Start wiggling your toes and your fingers. With each breath, come a little bit more back into your body. Moving your ankles and your wrists and your neck. Come back in, opening your eyes when you're ready. And notice your surroundings. Oh, and come back. No. That was a delicious one to not come back from. <laughs> I know. It's like, as I started saying that, my inside, it's like going, no. <laughs> This meditation reminds me why we do these meditations. And we've been doing these meditations for four years now, every day. And the reason that we do it and put it out here in the public is so folks have a way to come in, slow down, go inward, go outward, upward, connect to the creator, connect to the divine, and get a reset. It's purely a reset. Mm -hmm. Getting total goosebumps even saying that. Come and get a new perspective. Be ready to go back out into the 3D realm with a new perspective. Remembering that we are one in the divine. Mm -hmm. And what a beautiful gift to give that to somebody every single day. And Sue, that was absolutely perfect for that. So thank you so much. Thank you, angels. Thank you, divine. Oh, yeah, it's... The other thing, I think it's... It, it only takes a couple of minutes. And I think that there's so much healing that happens when... So this this is one of those where 
the angels were giving me little bits this week. And the first day, it was it was Monday or Tuesday this week. And I could feel, it's like if you have a little teardrop glass cup holder. And inside was this old crap that was stuck. And when the love and the enough and, and the, the worthiness come in, it's like it really was working away because mm -hmm. stuff was so packed in there. And I'm like, and I, I don't know what it was. We don't always have to know what it what it's from. But sometimes I think we forget that we've stuffed. It's like when you're cleaning out your house, it's like, oh, my gosh, I forgot I had this. Right. Right. It's like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you, Sue. Mm -hmm. Um, friends, I just want to say, if you want to see more of Sue Broom and her meditations, she has so many of them on YouTube at Enlightened World Network. Just get onto Enlightened World Network's page, go to the search and type in Sue Broom. And there are so many and they are all special in their own way. So thank you so much for that, Sue. Sue, what do you want folks to know about you? Uh, I want to know that when I work with people for whatever reason, I, I'm working with you. It's not about me. It's it's about you and your journey. So it's each each session would be individual, and because everybody is individual, so I work with you and your angels. <laughs> and she does beautiful work with folks, guys. I can attest to that myself personally. So Sue, they find you at suebroom.com. Yep. And on Facebook at Sue Broom. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and of course at Enlightened World Network. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks friends for being here. Whether it's fresh as it's coming out or after the fact, it's all perfect timing. So take good care. God bless. We'll see you all soon.